bounty of one got its full release today or yesterday. I don't know when this video is actually going to come out. Uh, I played this way, way back in early access. Had a blast with the game. And uh, might as well try it out again. I mean, I don't even know what's going on here. Necromant. I don't even know what this is. Uh, so, yeah, it's just like every other game we play on here. You've got a bunch of different characters. They're all kind of cool. Uh, I don't believe I've played this character or this character. Okay. So let's try this Madeline. I like that. So, uh, yeah, she's going to have some scrap gun and be blasted. Well, let's just skip all this. We'll just go, we'll start on 10. I mean, that's probably pretty high. If you are going to play this game, highly recommend using a controller. I will not be using a controller today. And the one thing about this game is you have to stop to shoot. So you'll quickly, when playing it, get in the habit or like get the feel for how you could kind of do a partial movement and and then fire your next bullet. You know, you don't have to just stand still the whole time. You kind of move, move, shoot, move, shoot. That's kind of the rhythm of the game. And then we'll, we'll get power-ups and, and upgrades and all that good stuff. And sometimes these runs get a little silly. Uh, do we want? range you know what since it's an epic we'll just take it i have not played this for a long time like last time i played i knew that a lot of things had been changed from like when i originally played and never really like fully explored things so here's our first boss of the game this particular one just kind of chip chases after you blindly and there's really not much you can do about it uh, let's just I think oh, oh let's just go with the just the flat damage see what happens for us so the bosses are gonna drop items for us uh, we do have rerolls so that's good this is actually not bad you have plus five, you know, I like that. We're gonna take that. So the, ye the yellow, the white dots beside our name are the numbers of dashes we have. And we can kind of just hit space bar to dash. Doesn't really matter right now, but later on, you'd need them quite a bit. I think we'll just take the crit and get some crit going. I wasn't planning on doing the crit, but since we got that item, oh, we already got another mini boss. And then a couple times during the run, we will jump into like an actual boss fight as well. I'm not really sure what, oh, I think we got to take this one. Is that worth it? These are both, these both help, just help a lot. Let's just take this blue damage for now. It's a lot of damage to get. And we like doing a lot of damage. Attract your collectibles from further away. I think we'll just take the attract your collectibles one. When one of your dash slots is ready, create a burst that does 100% damage in area around you. So this actually would give us more crit as well. Uh, I am going to take the collectibles, attract collectibles from farther away. Because I don't think there's any, at least last time I played, there's no like magnets or anything in this game. So you got to collect everything yourself. Could probably get a little bit of attack speed going. Things occasionally scale out of control in this game which is fun. 
We like that. Let's just keep going crit. How do we pull our damage, our stats up? All right, so shift key is pulling our, our stats up. Uh, normally when I play this, it is with a controller, so kind of learning the controls again as we play. So yeah, just wanted to see our crit chance, 32%. Which is quite strong. I think we gotta take this crit damage. <clears throat> We're accidentally committed into crit now. Even though I think we passed on a couple crit upgrades early on. It would be nice to get like one or two pierce. I really don't like the bounce in this game. Or at least how it, it used to be. And no clue if that's changed now. Are we going to have to take the golden AoE? This is also pretty good. Actually, I don't even know how much damage we take per hit on this level. I'm guessing we take two damage every time we get hit. Just because we're on a, we're not on the base difficulty. I don't really want to just test that though. We'll just take the, fl the flat damage. I like just scaling up the big numbers here. Oh, well, we, we killed the boss by accident. Projectiles slow down enemies they touch. That one is not bad. Create an explosion dealing four times your damage in a big area on taking it damage. Gain one max health. You know, that is helpful later on. Track all collectibles on the screen when you de eliminate a deputy. That one's also good because I think that's like your only vacuum type ability in the game. Let's just let's just take that. I think later on it will just be able to scoop up a lot of a lot of coins and XP for us. We definitely need like some sort of pierce or something though at some point here it's all cool to be scaling our damage really well but you know one pierce like doubles our damage I th we gotta be getting reasonably close close to the first boss I'm also kind of curious to see if that has changed at all. We'll just take in the keep continue taking the crit. We at 37%. Another mini boss here. The deputy. So at the top of the screen below the XP bar, there's kind of like a, a time tracker. Oh, reset the countdown every time you take damage. You know what? Let's just. Go, I think we'll just go for that. This is also. This also gives us five percent crit, so that would not be bad either. Actually, that seems. That seems pretty good. It's a targeted attack when you dash. I want this though. A little risky, especially since we have no idea like how much time is passing <coughs> oh we gotta take the the purple crit damage that feels like mandatory we're getting a, a pretty good little pack building up here which usually is a sign that you're you're falling behind on your damage in the game do we take this health I think so. Probably will matter later on. We are getting pretty nice crits already though. Which hopefully will help us on the bosses. Maybe not the first boss, but hopefully later down the line it will. Alright, here comes our first boss. Yeah, this is the same as it, it was. So he's going to shoot heads at us, and they kind of return to him. But also, 
spawn like lesser versions of himself that do the same thing. Oh, we one-shot them. Ooh. Well, with a crit, we one-shot them. I feel like they've made that significantly easier than it used to be. I remember these guys like totally stacking up and it getting quite annoying. But that was pretty, pretty easy for us. Uh, these what these upgrades, these golden ones, have a tendency to change your build in in funky ways. Uh, Gain an additional choice. We don't want that. I mean, it is good though. That is that would add up to being quite good. It's just not as fun. Deal your raw damage as an area effect each time your perfect projectiles inflict a critical strike. So that's really good for us. A pistol rang constantly spins around you and inflicts your damage to enemies it goes through and shoots at your current attack speed. I really want to I really want to do this pistol rang, but I think the nitro crit is just better for us. I think we have to take the nitro crit. Cuz that is that is AoE damage now when we're critting. So we hopefully won't build up such large packs. I wonder if our crit from that blue item is calculated on our stat sheet on the left there. I'm gonna do a test. It is. So when we, da when we dash, we just lose 5% crit immediately. That is good to know. So we do not want to be dashing. Is the movement speed good? Yeah, we can take like one movement speed. I think we're getting close to some annoying enemy types starting to pop up. I'm probably better just to be able to safely get out of the way, especially if we don't want to be dashing. Seems, seems good. Also need to remember that if we're offered a dash as an upgrade, that also is going to give us 5% crit. I don't think we've seen one yet. Always target deputies. This one is, I like this one. This one's actually quite strong. Can be like certain situations where it's annoying because you just laser focus onto the deputies. Whenever you dash, Get 100% crit chance for 1.5 second gain one dash. Attracts all collectibles on screen upon taking damage. I don't believe this was in the game before. I'm just gonna take this always target the deputies. I just think it's good. And then you kinda have an easier route to dealing with the deputies. We are getting pretty substantial crits going. Have another hit. Why are we not shooting at it? Oh, we were. There we go. Heal for one after you dash. Gain one dash. That this one's I like quite a bit. Uh, that one I do not like. I also like that one. We're just gonna do this one. So our dashes have a significantly longer cooldown, but now heal us. So if we get in trouble, we have a, we have a route to healing. And indirectly that gave us 5% crit. We actually have a, a shot at getting close to 100% crit on this run. The, the crit, like the amount it gives you on the upgrades, got nerfed a long time ago. 
because it used to be like quite easy to get to 100% crit and then you end up doing some monster damage. Oh, I whiffed. I whiffed on the dodge. We're definitely not that efficient at screen clearing. But I feel like we're we're doing quite a bit of damage. Attack speed leaves a little bit to be desired. I'll just keep pumping the crit though. Two shields, I don't like that one. Drops a dynamite before each dash. I like this one. Deals damage before you dash. We're gonna take the dynamite. Let's just showcase this real quick. So yeah, so when you dash away, you just leave dynamite on the ground and usually you're dashing out of a bad situation. So it's good. And that also means 5% crit for us. I definitely want to get our damage up over a thousand before we're on the grits, before we're done here. I hope it happens, but who knows? These guys shooting the balls that are growing in size, I have not seen before. Getting random achievements now. For like not difficult stuff. Ooh. Almost got ourselves caught there. Trying not to dash if we don't have to. I'll take the crit damage. Saw, saw some 900 over 900 crits. Just what we want. I think that might be because there was a death on screen. So our damage might not actually be that high. Ooh. Yeah, that this one is just really good. Like, it seems like they try to make it seem like there's a downside here. It's just really strong. Before you dash, take one damage. But permanently gain a plus five default damage. Not have any effect when you have... Oh, this has been greatly changed. I don't remember exactly what... It was a similar idea for... But it... It is at least worded significantly di different. It's it's way more usable now, but we're taking the corkscrew bullet because that pierce is going to be pretty massive for us. Do we just take the purple AOE? Sure. If we ever do dash and drop our dynamite, it should end up being quite large. We haven't taken many AOE upgrades, but the ones we've taken have been high rarity. Oh, I still took damage there. Yeah, getting a little messy here right now. Everything that's going on. All right, who do we get here? I do not know this guy. Okay, never done this fight before. So he's just kind of charge around and wreck the screen. Is that what you're doing, buddy? You make this really awkward for us. Oh, they do eventually go away. Whoa. 
Well, we're not doing exceptional damage to him. I thought our I thought our DPS would be much higher. I don't believe this is the final boss, though. I think there's a third one now. Ooh, we got smacked there. All right, what do we got here? The dash one. So this is actually uh, one of the other heroes like starting item. We're gonna take it. Just gives us a gives us a turret, which is blasts. It's a little. It's not quite as good as us, but it doesn't take damage. And is always shooting. Take this attack speed. I feel like a purple attack speed could be helpful. The crit damage also would have been really nice there. It's good for us to stay near this turret. I think that there's a button that replaces the turret, but honestly, I have no clue what it is. And I feel like mashing my buttons right now is probably not the ideal time to figure that out. Get our crit going. 67, that's really nice. So our crits are over a thousand now, but that's from the item that forces us to target the deputies. It slowly scales our stats the longer it goes. Three re-rolls. Slow down, your projectiles bounce. This one, for anyone who's gonna play this game, is terrible. That upgrade, awful. Emit an aura is not bad. Let's take this one, fire 36 projectiles. Seems like that could just accidentally like kill a boss. I think the turret is helping quite a bit. I think the turret might be better than us. Oh, I gotta take this purple attack speed. The turret is, is launching now. Another deputy. We'll take it. Already dead? I was not even paying attention to the deputy. Um, no, I, d I don't think this one is that good. It gives us a dash. This one's kind of funny. But I think we'll just take take our dash. Gave us an achievement for getting to six dashes. Ooh. Oh, we only take one one damage on getting hit. That seems like not enough. I totally forgot that we took that item that was like for every two minutes we go without getting hit, we get 10% attack speed. No clue if we got anything out of that. I guess we're taking the golden AoE. Why not? That was an achievement. 250% AOE, like we're not even doing an AOE build, but they just keep offering us the really big AOE upgrades, so obviously we're gonna, going to take them. Probably don't need to take any more. I feel like the deputies are coming at us quite quickly now. Is that accurate, or is this how it's been all game? Take the purple flat damage. That's actually probably a massive upgrade for us at this point. I like this Thunder Dance. I think it's it's quite good. Because you're almost always move, moving. 
so you're always dealing more damage with that. And one dash is good too. I think we're just going to take the Thunder Dance. Just going to blast some guys off in the distance for us. Do we even need to stop and shoot anymore? It doesn't seem like it. We're doing a pretty good job here of blasting everything. We're definitely not playing on high enough difficulty. So this is infam Infamy 10, but there was some Necromancer Pact that we'd never seen before, so we just didn't add anything from it, and maybe we, maybe we should have. Are the lightning bolts just like our regular projectiles? If so, that is too powerful. Is there a limit on how, there must, this lady's ability that loads up extra projectiles for distance traveled? Nah, she, she only shoots three, right? She never gets more than that. Okay, enemies are slowly getting to us now. Eighty-four percent crit. Might, might as well get that to a hundred if we can. Everything being a crit just sounds really good when the difference is a hundred and forty damage or nine hundred and eighty damage. The poor guy never stood a chance. I think we're probably re-rolling here. I don't really like this one. I don't want to move slower. But what did we get? I've never seen these two. Gain an immunity to enemy damage each time you level up. Last for five seconds. Mm. While stationary, each shot stacks two knives, but attack speed is reduced by 50 cents. 50%. When you move, you unleash the stack knives with plus 50% of attack speed. I mean, obviously, we're just going to take it. Try to get in a move in a spot where we can move, or not move. So we have do damage while you're moving. Gain extra shots while you're moving, and then also gain extra shots while you're not moving. Okay, that gets us to 96%. I don't really know if the knives thing is worth working. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to tell. This is probably the final boss coming up. We failed to hit. Oh no, our our turret is just off the screen. Oh, that guy cheats. Look at this guy cheating. Okay, so the turret can can shoot at him at least on this this side of the screen. I believe there's multi-stages in this fight. This was added like right when I, I, I retried the game last. I'm not even sure if I beat this boss. We're definitely gonna beat him now, I can feel it. No, that is a bad area of the screen to be standing in for us. The, with the XP bar, like blocking everything. Ah, that was very bad. Oh, we just got smacked there. <laughs> that, that, he was cheating. I guess I should have been using my dashes. That's on me. So, uh... That's the full release of Bounty of One. Lots more there. 
that we've not <coughs> not figured out out yet. We unlocked a bunch of items. I'm pretty sure that I already had some of these unlocked, so I must have had to re-unlock them. <coughs> Um, oh, they changed this. So it used to be that if you put points into this shop, then you couldn't, you couldn't do like regular runs. But it looks like you can now. They're just more expensive. One banish free roll for your upgrades per game. Well, not going to worry about this right now. But yeah, that's Bounty of One, the full release. Uh, this is a fun game. I don't know <laughs> if, it's up for, if it's up everybody's alley. It is a little bit different style with having to stop to use your weapons. But uh, I, just, I just like the game. It runs really smooth. You can, get, you can get pretty strong through all the upgrades, which feels nice. And uh, yeah, I just like feeling powerful. That's why we play these games, right? So I had a blast playing. Hope you had a blast watching. And I'm out.